Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Journey of an Awakening Spirit. This is Kathleen Flanagan, your host, and we're streaming on the Bold Brave TV network. The purpose of the show is to help you realize that you are not alone. You are in control of your life. It does not matter what your lot in life is or where you came from. We have all felt pain, suffering, hurt, abandonment, loneliness, hopelessness, etc. This show helps you to take those dark moments and turn them around to create a whole new you. We were taught to be a certain way, act a certain way, conform to society. Being socialized is not bad, but it can put constraints on us. The guests I bring on the show are telling you their story of where they came from, the obstacles they overcame, and where they are today. They are sharing the tools that they use to recreate themselves and their life. On podcast.kathleenmflanagan.com is a list of the guests that have been on the show with their contact information. I am aware that you may resonate with one or several of them. My desire is that this becomes a community where you have access to the people you wish to align with and utilize the tools that they have, as well as the tools being offered on KathleenMFlanagan.com. I am a certified coach who can help you reach your dreams. I help you to learn how to rely on and believe in your unlimited potential and power. I already know that you've experienced flashes of intuitive knowledge and big thinking and has you wondering just how far you can fly, if only. I'm here to help you stir, stir up that innate knowing and self-trust already instilled deep within your soul. I help you to forge forward when the old you would rather give up and turn back. AwakeningSpirit.com is an aromatherapy-based body care line that offers alternative healing remedies and use natural and organic ingredients. We are offering a 40% discount by entering Brave TV into the coupon code. The products are guaranteed. If the product is not working for you, please contact me and we can reformulate the blend specifically for you. Grandma's Natural Remedies is a CBD company that uses essential oils in every blend and either has broad spectrum or an isolate. Every product is tested and the lab results are on the website. We are offering a 20% discount by entering Brave TV into the coupon code. Normally I would start the show um, with tuning forks, but unfortunately, um, or fortunately, I don't have them with me. I'm in Wyoming again for a couple of days to finish up this project. And I am, and I have, so I'm going to go ahead and internet introduce Nikki. Nikki Billow has been called the world's greatest podcast guest. Why? Because he has been a guest on over 600 shows and has always brings power, passion, and actionable tips to every appearance. He is the number one international best-selling author of the book, Finish Line, Thinking TM, How to Think and Win Like a Champion, and Thought Leader's Journey, a, fa a fable of life and the power of connecting, how to activate profitable relationships by serving your network. A two-time New York best-selling author, he is an in-demand and highly inspirational speaker to corporate audiences such as RBC, Lululemon, Royal LePage, and Tour Star Media. He is an advisor and a confidant to some of the most successful and dynamic entrepreneurs in Canada. He is the founder of E-Circle Academy, where he runs a year-long mastermind and educational program working with coaches, consultants, corporate trainers, clinic owners, realtors, <clears throat> excuse me, mortgage brokers, and other service-based entrepreneurs, positioning them as authorities in their niche. He is the creator of the Thought Leader, Heart Leader designation. As the time, as the as the host of the number one podcast in the world on thought leadership, the Thought Leaders Revolution, Nikki has interviewed over 500 of the world's top leaders, such as astronaut Chris Hadfield, George Ross of the hit TV series The Apprentice, Barbara Cochran from Shark Tank, supermodel and business Mongo Kathy Ireland, Ivan Miser, founder of BNI, Graham Wilma. Wilma Will Miller, CEO of BNI, John Maxwell, world's number one leadership author, New York Times number one bestseller author, Seth Godin, Marie Forleo, Oprah's coach, Jack Fat 
Canfield, author of Chicken Soup for the Soul, and Scott Adams, creator of Dilbert. Welcome, Nikki. <laughs> Kathleen, great to be here. Thanks for having me on the show. Oh, you're welcome. I'm so sorry I'm coughing in your ear. That was such a mouthful of, of a bio that you have there. Oh my God. God bless you. Good to be here. Thanks for having me yeah. on the show. It's been it's yeah. been a while. I'm excited to do this. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, I know, right? So so why don't you tell our audience a little bit about your journey of becoming an awakening spirit? Well, thank you. Oh, I'm actually originally an immigrant from the Middle East. I'm a, a Christian from Iran. When I was 11 years old, the Islamic Revolution took place in Iran. And um, my late father, God rest his soul, could see the writing on the wall that this wasn't going to be a place to raise his Christian family. And dad was also very much into meditation and spirituality as well. And uh, Iran was well on its way to becoming a theocracy. So he and my mom, they made a plan. And... Uh, they executed it, and within a few years, they got us out of Iran and settled us where I now live in Toronto, Canada. Now, as an 11, 12, 13, 14-year-old kid, I didn't want to leave my home. I didn't want to leave my friends, right? But in retrospect, it was the single greatest thing mom and dad could have done for me and my two brothers. They took us from a legacy of tyranny, and they brought us to a legacy of freedom. I believe inside every human breast beats the living heart of freedom. Every man, every woman on this planet wants to chart their own course, wants to march to the tune of their own drummer. And my late father, he really believed in freedom as well. If you knew him, Kathleen, you'd love him. This is a man who, you know, if you were trying to find a job, he'd sit you in his office, he'd make some calls to his buddies until he found you a job. If you were trying to start a business, he'd sit you down, he'd help you get going. He'd help you get access to capital, ideas, customers. And if you were trying to buy a car or a house and you didn't quite have enough money, well, dad would loan you the money you needed. And when you try to pay him back, he'd never let you pay him back. And people would say to me, come on, are you for real? Nobody does this. And I go, well, the late, great Napoleon Ballou, he does this or did this. Why would he do this? Well, first of all, he was a devout Christian and a humanist. And he believed that he'd been blessed by God. It was his duty to share those blessings with other people. But secondly, he did it because he could. He was successful. And I wanted to be like my dad. I wanted to be somebody that people came to for help. I wanted to be somebody that was admired. I wanted to be somebody who was an entrepreneur who charted his own course. So I got into business. And here's what I found out. There's a lot of good human beings in business, people with the highest ethics, the highest morals. But they had a lot of fear around getting into business, especially around sales and marketing. They, oh, the idea of picking up a phone and calling somebody just made them go, ooh. And here's what I realized is that these good people were missing out on business they should be getting, right? Because they didn't quite have the time uh, to believe in themselves to be able to bring that business in. So I thought, I can help these guys. All we got to do is help them selling to service. Nobody wants to be sold. Kathleen, you don't want to be sold. I don't want to be sold. But everybody loves being served by a caring human being, an advocate. So that's what I got into. I started to teach people how to reframe selling to service. I started to teach them how to look at selling as a good thing. I started to teach them how to become an expert at selling it and then become an expert at being a thought leader, at being seen the go-to person in their space. And through that, I've been able to help you know, 80, 90 entrepreneurs add anywhere from six to eight figures a year to their annual income. And honestly, that's a little bit of my business journey. Throughout this uh, journey, though, I also started to get into meditation. I started to get into spirituality. Um, I, I did the Silva Method. Uh, I did some um, past life regression. It's an interesting thing for, a, for, for you know, a, a Christian to do, but we did a bit of that. And I even spoke to... Uh, some spirits like Cryon that uh, uh, only make themselves known to people by coming into someone else's body. So there you go. That's a little bit of Nikki Baloo's history, as it were. <laughs> well, I know how to do past life regressions. Okay. So I know how to do all of that stuff. I've, uh, I've, I've read enough of the Chiron book. So I understand Chiron and all of that. So um, yeah. I get it. 
And coming from your father, I, I know that when we spoke, you were still in some deep grieving at that point and, and how much you missed your dad because he was such an inspiration to you. And, and I found that so profound that your father had such a, an amazing impact on you in your life to be, you know, to have the bio that you have because you don't, you learn that. I mean, your dad, it sounded like it, your dad just trusted the process and knew that he was taken care of, he was safe and all of that. And it wasn't about what he was getting. It was about what he served. And that was, I think the biggest thing that I just got from you now and what you missed about your dad, because he was such an inspiration to you. And I thought that was amazing to have a role model to that degree. And then for him to be in meditation and here you are this business guy and you're like, okay, I had a channel with Chiron, <laughs> you know, people might think you're a little wacky, but I don't because I am um, spirituality, I think rounds us out. And, and that's what I think is really important. That's partly why I bring this show to the world is because I want people to see that we are multidimensional. And I think you are displaying how much uh, multidimensionality that your dad had and you took all the best of your dad. That's how I see you. Thank you, Kathleen. That's really sweet to say. Yeah, my dad was a very special man. Uh, you know, he's a man who went out there and believed in people. He'd always tell me, son, life isn't about money. And I'd go, okay, dad. He said, even business isn't about money. It's about people. I'm like, dad, but, but without money, you can't do business. Eight-year-old kid, smart aleck. That's true, son. But without people, there's no need for money. He said, that person sitting in front of you, that's someone's father, that's someone's brother, that's someone's son. That's a hero to somebody, you know? And it's your job to see that. And it's your job to help that person believe in other people. Because think about this, you know, if you believe in people, you're doing them a huge service. Because everybody has moments where their self-belief wobbles. And you bring that little spark of belief. It can turn their belief in themselves into a roaring fire. And that's when they can go live a life less ordinary. A life that they barely even imagined. And my dad was a professional believer in people. And he imparted that to me. So when he passed away, I grabbed that Billu torch from his hand and... I'm out there looking for people, looking to believe in people. I love that. I love that. So uh, yeah, just give me a minute. Cause there's just, there's so many things that are just stirring in my mind of what you're saying on this, because um, I've been dealing with people and talking to people and coming out in the world myself and you know the whole thing about selling but it's really about being service and i was just talking to a friend of mine and we were talking about that we have to not dumb ourselves down but we have to come down to a level so people understand because sometimes if we're carrying a great deal of light it's really hard for people to take all that in so sometimes it's you know, it's like, okay, well, how do I dumb myself down? If I got a message from spirit to say that I need to talk to you, how do you dumb that down to their level when it's as easy as it can be? But we have to take a commercial break and I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about this because I think you've got some answers here that I'm looking for. Welcome back everyone to the journey of an awakening spirit. This is Kathleen Flanagan, your host, and we're streaming on the Bold Brave TV network and we have Nikki Billow in the room with us. So, Nikki, I think I'm going to go ahead and ask you, what's the question I want to ask you? How are you taking what your father gave you now to help people and become more of a service to people? Because I know that everybody's different. And yet we're all basically the same. We all want the same things. And I, I truly get behind that believing because I know that when somebody would give me this much of an ounce of belief, I would take that and I would run. 
because a lot of times I didn't feel like anybody was behind me or in my corner. And I know how valuable that is. And that's why part of what I'm doing here and what I'm supposed to do is to be in people's corners. And yet I know I carry a lot of light at the same time. And that can be intimidating because, you know, where there's darkness, the light is going to shine on it. So as I was telling you earlier, when I was talking to my friend about how do I not necessarily dumb down me, but how do I get down to that level of really believing in somebody? Because you're somebody that's carrying a lot of light as well. And you've done a lot and you've worked with some really powerful people in our industries. So how did you come into that place to where you could reach those kind of people? And then how do you reach those people? I mean, was it similar to people that had like, so that were shattered at the same time, or did you just go after the big names? I don't know that I necessarily just went after the big names. I, 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 I think that when my frequency vibration is there to serve, I have people that come on my path. So I'll tell you a story. Okay. Um, a few months ago, I was introduced through a, an event that I, I, I spoke at to a wonderful lady, Dr. Dia, and she, um, She's a doctor, medical doctor, originally from South Africa, lives in Canada now. And she really has had a passion to be of service in her industry. And when we started working with her, man, she had so much fire and energy, but she hadn't figured out how to put what she wanted out there in such a way to monetize it. And what we helped her do was narrow her focus and dial in her message. So it was clear that she was going to be speaking with um, med spas. And the messaging that we helped her come up with is that these med spas were leaving seven to 15 million on the table. You think about that, that's a lot of money. Lot and of money. she really started to hone in her message. She put an event together. She had about a dozen med spas come to it. And Four of them were really interested in what she had to say. And one of them ended up buying a half a million dollar consulting program from her. And then 32 days later, she sold another $550,000 consulting program. Boom. $1,050,000 sold in 32 days. What made this happen? Well, she needed someone to believe in her. And myself and my lady, we worked together especially my lady, really believe in Dia. And we started to show her that we believed in her. She started to do the work that we talked to her about. And boom, it took four months to get her there. But the value of ha having her get her message clear, her target market was always clear, but her message and how it was going to be valuable to her target market clear and then putting it out there and then getting any sort of hesitation she may have had about actually speaking to people and getting them to come out that did it that did it that got her to a space where boom she was able to generate over a million dollars in 32 days and by the way we believe she's going to be able to generate somewhere between another one and a half to seven million more dollars in sales wow. in one year so how does that work? Well, first of all, it works by caring enough about people to, to wanting to make a difference for them. You got to care about good people, heart driven people, and you got to believe that they deserve to win. You got to put yourself out there to be of service to them. That's number one. But secondly, you got to have something valuable to help them solve their problem. In her case, the problem she had was how to get her message out in a way that got her ideal client to see she was the right person for them. And that is the essence of thought leadership. We're really big into thought leadership. We believe thought leadership is how like a coach, a consultant, an author like yourself, a speaker like yourself can take their business from tragic to magic. Um, and that's a beautiful thing. Well, I, what I have to tell you, this is kind of interesting because I'm really working on um, changing my messaging because I thought I was going to go one place and it felt really good. I, it was dialed in. It was like perfect. And then all of a sudden it got really, really hard. And I thought, okay, something's not right here. So I decided to redial in the messaging. So I want to help more on like, instead of B2B, B2C, but eventually I'll probably go to B2C 
you know, to help corporations with this whole new dynamics that's going on inside of businesses with, with the younger generation and the multi-generational issues that seem to be going on because most people are more in their head and they're not in their heart. So I get that thought leader. I get being in the heart space because we connect through the heart. And I've noticed with this show, I, I mean, I, I'm blown away of how many people want to be on my show. I am totally blown away. I haven't searched for anybody to be on my show because of what I'm doing. And I've had some really profound, amazing guests on the show. And I've had, because of the journey, it's, it's all about the journey and I get them to talk from their heart. And that's the part that I think moves this show so much is because, and somebody actually sent me a, a request to be on the show and they said, I can't believe that you talk about such deep topics and yet it's light. And I'm thinking, but that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, these are hard topics. I mean, doing soul searching work, getting into your heart space, that's not easy stuff when we live in a world that we live in. But, I, but I'm a firm believer, and this is something I had to do, is when I changed my perspective of the world, my world changed. When I didn't think the world was after me, and the world supported me, everything changed. And, and I think that's a lot of what you're doing for someone because sometimes when we are thought leaders, I think it really is hard of how do we, because we have this big dream and how do you funnel it down into that real tight niche that you need to get into. And the fact that, and, and a lot of times it is that believing. So, I mean, when you saw, talked about Dr. Dia, I can see that because if she was, big but scared and how do i and here you are and then there's all that paradigm stuff that comes up all that self-limiting belief stuff and you worked her through that and we know that your dad did a lot of this for you yeah he sure did man my dad was an incredible man it was an honor to be his son and, and it's still an honor to be his son i think everybody needs somebody to see their greatness and believe in them. And for me, inside of the clients I work with, that's what we do. There's so many good people that are out there that do great work. They're just not getting the results they should be getting. And the best way to help them is to really believe in them. Now, if you wanna win, you need to have certain characteristics and qualities Without these, you can't win. First of all, you got to be decisive and committed. So you've got to make a decision that you want to actually succeed and win and grow your business. Okay. And you, one of the things you've got to admit to yourself is that I'm not good at sales, if that's part of your problem. And I'm afraid of sales and I need to stop being afraid of sales and I need to get good at sales. So that's like a decision you got to make. And then you've got to commit to, um, I'm going to get good at this. I'm willing to be bad before I'm mediocre, before I'm good, before I'm great, before I'm amazing. You got to commit to that. that. That's a process. It won't happen any other way. Thirdly, you got to hire a coach and you got to be coachable. Um, the great Robin Sharma, who was once a client of mine when I was a health and fitness coach, said to me, if you want to double your income in, in a year, all you got to do is triple your investment in personal and professional development. You got to hire the coaches. You got to join the masterminds. You got to attend the conferences. You got to do the courses and read the books. So, if you're right now a coach of some sort, uh, a mentor of some sort, and you don't invest in yourself for coaching and mentoring, come on, what are you doing? I mean, I mean, you're telling other people to invest uh, in themselves to work with you, yet you won't do the same. That's kind of nuts. Right. So you got to make sure that you put a lot of time, energy and money into that. And then finally, you got to be resourceful. Um, and I'll tell you a story for myself. You know, about a dozen years or so ago, uh, my then wife, seemingly out of the blue, decided she didn't want to be with me anymore. Maybe I should have seen it coming, but I didn't. I spiraled downward. Um, she kicked me out of the house. I was sleeping on my mother's couch. I hadn't made money in a year. You know, I couldn't see my two kids. And a friend of mine took pity on me and he bought me a ticket to a, a conference I attended with him. And I, I heard a man do a talk and it resonated with me. His name was Bill. And 
when the talk was over, I rushed the stage to be first in line to speak to him. And I said, hey, Bill, my name is Nikki, and let me tell you my story. And I told him my story, and at the end of uh, my story, I said to him, I believe that I need to hire you. He said, okay, no problem, but listen, here's what you need to know. My minimum fee to work with anybody is $5,000 for five hours of my time. And um, secondly, I require payment upfront in full in advance. And I don't offer any guarantees or any refunds. You still want to work with me. And man, that was like, whoa, intense for me to hear. I said, I don't have that kind of money. He said, okay, I'll give you some free coaching. I'm like, free coaching? That sounds like right up my alley. Give it to me. He said, all right, it doesn't matter how much money you have. I'm like, well, well wait up, wait up, wait up. You just told me you want $5,000 from me. Of course it matters how much money you have. He said, no, 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 it doesn't. He said, um, you need to understand something. I have 20 people lined up to work with me, and most of them are going to pay me a lot more than 5000 I don't need your money. I'm like, oh, okay. He said, but you need me, so listen up. He said, it doesn't matter how much uh, you know, money you have. What matters is how bad do you want change? I'm like, oh. He said, well, I want to tell you something. Um, how much longer are you willing to put up with this current state of affairs? A day? A week? A month? A year? A lifetime? I'm like, whoa! I said, no, no, no. He said, give me a couple days. I want to come meet you in your office. He said, okay. We made an appointment. In the meantime, hey, Kathleen, I just got on the phone. I called people. And I was a trainer then, a fitness trainer. And I was calling people who I'd been in conversation with who had not yet said yes or no. And um, so what happened was um, a couple of them picked up the phone and I said to one of them, hey, I got good news for you. He said, what is it? He said, I said, um, you're really fat and you need to lose weight or you're going to get a heart attack or diabetes or stroke. And you know this. And he goes, yeah, yeah, you're right. And I said, I'm really broke and I need money or I won't be allowed to see my son. So we got a meeting of the minds here. I tell you what, I'm going to give you the deal of a century, half price, but there's a catch. He said, what's the catch? I said, you say yes or no now and you pay in full now. What's it going to be? He said yes. And I called another fellow, told him the same thing. He said yes. So I collected $1,000 each from these guys. And then I went to see um, Bill. And I was pleased as punch. I, I dropped down $2,000 on the table. The first money I'd made in a year. I said, all right, Bill, let's get going. He said, um, that's two. I said five. I'm like, oh, okay. I said, Bill, listen, how many times... Um, have you spoken to someone the way you spoke with me and told them this story? He said 30 or 40 over the years. I said, wow, that's a lot. He said, yeah. I said, besides me, who else ever came back to you and gave you money? He said, oh, Nikki, you're the first. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm the first? He goes, you are the very first. I'm like, okay, the first. I said, well, listen, Bill, here's the deal. Take this two grand I'm giving you. And I'm going to sign a contract promising to pay you the balance in 30, 60 days, whatever the case may be. And he agreed. Um, within six months, Kathleen, I made six figures. And the rest is history. I paid him early. I paid him earlier than the contracted date. Very proud of that fact. And the truth of the matter is, if you're listening to this, my question for you is, how bad do you want change? Are you happy with your life? Are you happy with your financial situation, with your business? If the answer is yes, great, keep going. But if the answer is no, then my recommendation is that you decide to do something about it, commit to get better at sales and at growing a business. Um, determined to hire a coach, someone like myself, and be resourceful and come up with the time, the energy, and the money you need to go through the journey and achieve the results that you're looking to achieve. 
I agree with you 100% on that. I, um, I made those decisions where I was doing a lot of my own work. And then I came to a point where I hit a wall. I didn't know what to do next. I realized that I had no knowledge of how to go to that next level. So what did I do? I found somebody. I got two coaches now. I'm still growing and evolving and doing a lot of the spiritual stuff that I do. But the whole point is, is that I had to get real with myself because I wasn't and then discovered that even though I have, you know, an environmental business and aromatherapy business and all of that, it didn't matter. I was still, it was a hobby based on how business is supposed to progress. It was a hobby. And, you know, that's a tough nugget to, you know, cause you're like, well, I've been making a living. I've been fine. I haven't suffered, but when I, but to go to that level that I wanted to go, I had to take that next level. And, you know, and you sit there and you gasp sometimes with what they want, but you know what? You do your research, you find out what their stats are, you learn who they are, you go to an event, see if they're worth somebody you want to give that time to. And how do you feel as a connection with that person? And those are the things that you do. You connect with that person. You connect with, are you in alignment? Are your values in alignment with that person? Or if they're not, then they're not for you. But if you're, al- if you're aligning, why wouldn't you hire somebody, especially if you want to take that next step? Is it easy? Oh, hell no. Then this is easy to sit there and dial in a message, listening to your programs, listening to the, all the stuff coming up in your head. But you know what? I'm okay going to bed every night with panic attacks because that means I'm moving in my life. And I heard somebody say yesterday that the, that the greater the resistance and moving into the direction of your dream, the greater the results on the other end. So do you think I'm not hanging on to that at this moment? Because panic attacks suck. And yet mm-hmm. I know that that's an, e- that's an egotistical thing that is in my body in the central nervous system. And I know that I'm ready to break through on something or I wouldn't be this scared. And I just breathe through it and it's just, I'm safe. I'm protected. I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm ready to break through and receive. And it's like, okay, are you, do you think you're worthy to receive? These are questions you have to ask yourself when you hit those places. You had to ask that when you were down in the pits of hell, you had to ask those same things. Yeah, you gaffed, you went through everything, but what did you do? You found something worth going after to be a better person instead of being the victim of your wife leaving you. And that's what it is. How long do we want to live in our shit? Yep, well said, well said. Honestly, that's exactly correct. Yeah, because I I mean, I have big dreams too. And I, I've accomplished everything I've set out to do except for one thing. And I decided if I died, it's okay if I don't make it because it's only about money. And money is not a valuable thing to me. People are what's important to me. So when I, when I switch around that I want to be of service, that makes doing some of the hard things like the sales calls, reaching out to people saying, can we ha- connect? Can I get your opinion about something? Those are hard things for me to do. And I'm doing them anyways, because it's about the connection. It's about touching people. It's about getting, and most of these people I've actually personally have met because I had a spa. And so I've done work on them. So it's not like I don't know these people. Some people I don't know, but some people I do know. And yet, you know, it's really turning everything around, changing our perspective. And that's what you're saying that you demonstrated is you wanted to do something better. And, you know, and unfortunately, most of us think that we have to, we, if we don't want to change, but we don't like our circumstances, well, how far is it going to get up before you decide it's time to change? I don't like being, I don't like suffering. No, suffering sucks. And I just want to say one thing, Kathleen, Um, you deserve to have your money goals come alive too, because money allows you to be more of who you really are and to help yourself and the people you love. So I want you to have money and I'm, I'm happy to have an offline conversation with you about you having all the money you deserve and you want, but okay. money is good. Money, I know is, money good. is good. And, and that's what I like is that it's, it's a freedom. There's a freedom to it. And it's not about what can I buy or what can I do or where can I go in the world? It's never been about that. And what I do know is that money, 
I mean, money coming towards you is in relation to how you're being of service. And I see there's a correlation there of, you know, you sh because that's what we do in our world. Money is what we, that's our means of commerce. You know, if it wasn't money, if it was bartering, that would be probably easier for people. Maybe it wouldn't be so hard. I don't like bartering anyways, but I figured if you say this is what it's worth, I'm going to give it to you because I'm not going to barter with you and, and chew you down as so to speak, because I don't, I believe people when they say a price, then that's what it should be. And I know there's cultures out there that that's part of their culture, but I can't participate that way. I don't like being, Amen. Down, so to speak, you know, I, because I think if I'm saying this is a, what I think I'm worth, then I should be entitled to that. Because if you think you're worth that, then I want to give that to you because that's, that's part of that worthiness as far as I see it. Amen. I get Amen. 1000%. So, yeah, I, I mean, I just, I, I just love how you, how you, I mean, you're just making this sound like it's so easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's simple. No, it's not. It is simple. simple. It is simple. But it's this not. Is not it, this is not uh, uh, brain surgery or rocket science. You know, this is <laughs> something that anybody honestly can think through and make come uh, to fruition. But you've got to put in the time, the energy, the effort, and the work. And I'll tell you, you know, one last story, Kathleen. And a few years ago, there was a woman who was introduced to, to us who had been a super success. She was a country director for uh, one of the world's leading personal development firms. And she decided to bring this guy on to help her run the company who was um, well known. And she thought he was really talented. And for a year, everything was great. But after a year, their visions of the future diverged. They started to clash. There was a board of directors involved. The board of directors sided with him and kicked her out of the company. Kind of like Apple with Steve Jobs and John Scully wow. back in the early 80s, right? Wow. wow. And just like Steve Jobs, she was bereft for about 18 months, not knowing what to do. And someone introduced her to, to me and uh, my beloved Teresa. And we really saw this was a good woman. We poured into her. We loved on her. And we helped her see um, that she was special and that she could go out there and put something together that would help people and make a difference. And within a month of getting her message dialed in, she made $10,000 in coaching sales. Within two months, she made 12,000. Uh, third month was 18,000. The fourth month was amazing. $62,200. Wow. That figure will become germane in a moment. So she lives in Ottawa. I live in Toronto, five hour drive. My oldest son had a soccer tournament in Ottawa. He was 12 at the time. He's 18 now. And I called her up. I said, hey, we're coming to Ottawa for this soccer tourney. You got a boy my boy's age. Bring him over. Let's have everybody hang out and have a good time. She said, sounds good. And we did. And everybody had a great time. We drove back to Toronto. She drove home. A few weeks later, we had one of our quarterly branded thought leader immersion workshops in Toronto. And here's what happened. Okay. Um, we were at the section of the event where I do the enrollment opportunity for a year long program. And that year long program, it's a big ticket program, $40,000 plus at the time. Right. And the way I do the enrollment opportunity is I don't pitch. I let my people pitch. I let them share their stories. It's very effective. So I said, who would like to share? And she just bounds on stage. Normally people put up their hands and I pick somebody, right? But not this time. She bounds on stage and almost knocks me on my ass. So I'm like, <laughs> all right, Julie, not a real name. Go for it. So Julie's standing up there and normally this is a loquacious woman, but she's not saying anything. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? And I see the shoulders go like this. And then I hear a sob. I'm like, oh, shit. Is she crying? Like any red-blooded man, <laughs> when I hear a woman cry, the first thought that goes through my head is, what did I do wrong to make her cry? <laughs> you know? And That's a program. <laughs> 
So Teresa comes on stage, hands her a box of tissues. She gratefully accepts. And then she turns to me and between sobs and tears says, Nikki, when you and your little son came to Ottawa and visited with me and my little son, on our way to see you, my little son said, Mommy, 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 who are we going to go meet? Excited 12-year-old boy. And she said, oh, sweetie, we're going to go see Nikki Baloo and his son. She was just trying to like get him to be quiet, right? And it worked. All of a sudden, he got super quiet. So much so that she got concerned. She says, son, what's up? She said, mommy, are we going to go meet the man who saved our family? Oh, wow. And Kathleen, I'm sitting there and, you know, I'm an old school man. I don't cry in public. I'm not a snowflake. I started to cry like a little girl. And we both <laughs> hugged. And she said, you know, when I first came to you, I hadn't made a mortgage payment in 18 months. Oh, my God. Whoa. Bank was about to foreclose. I was fighting with my husband in front of the kids every day. The kids were freaking out that we were going to break up. I was freaking out we were going to break up. But you gave me belief in myself. And the money I made allowed us to pay off the arrears of our mortgage. And we stopped fighting. That literally saved our family. Wow. And so gonna... we hugged. We kissed and she sat down. Now you got to understand this part, Kathleen. Um, normally for a $40,000 ticket, we hand out the, um, the registration forms. Not everybody signs up. Some people sign up. Some people say no thanks. And some people, they need a conversation to decide one way or another. Kathleen, all eight people signed up on the spot. No questions wow. asked. No, nothing. That little boy was the best salesman I ever had. Wow. Why? Why? We got to take a quick commercial break and we'll come back sure. to, and finish the story. Welcome back, everyone, to the Journey of an Awakening Spirit. This is Kathleen Flanagan, your host, and we're streaming on the Bold Brave TV network. And we have Nikki Below in the room with us today. So, Nikki, go ahead and continue the story about what that eight year old boy did for your sales and how that all played out because what a beautiful story that an eight year old had was so powerful because he was so stressed and yet everything changed because you took the time to go to Ottawa. Yeah. Thank you. And, um, what became clear to me is there's a lot of people out there that need help. But the question in their mind is, um, do I get help from this person? Can I trust them? Are they going to deliver? Or are they going to just take my money and run? And at the end of the day, um, what this little boy and his story did was it showed all the people in the room that you can trust this fellow. He's not not full of crap. He's got your back. And the folks that were in the room, all of them wanted to grow their businesses. There wasn't a person in there that was there, you know, just for shits and giggles, as they say, right? And that was powerful. There were people in the room who told me beforehand that they were not going to buy anything in the up enrollment. One fella just got in my face. Yo, Nick. Nick, 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 I need to talk to you. I know that you're going to have an enrollment opportunity over the next couple of days sometime. I just want you to know, so you're not too disappointed. I won't be buying anything from you. No offense. <laughs> but it ain't going to happen. And I said, okay, man, whatever. Don't worry about it. He was the first fellow to sign up and hand me his paperwork. The first. And he came over to me and he thrust it in my chest and he said, you son of a bitch. What? 
She said, I told you I wasn't going to buy nothing. You made a liar out of me. (laughs) But, you know, when the truth is there, you know, when it rings in your heart, you know. Yeah. And that's and I think that's the biggest thing with the, the coaches that I brought on is they answered one of the deepest questions I've had of who's out there who can help me to be the person that I am, because I'm very a unique person. I'm, I'm not like most people. And to get dialed into me to that message, to that degree, take somebody very strong and powerful and very enlightened. And when they can answer that one question that I could not find the answer for, I already knew they're going to pitch me and I already know the answer is yes. So it was just when it's like, you don't have to go through another four days on this. You could just give me, tell me what it is. Cause here's my card, you know? So I, I get that it's when it resonates in your heart. Yes, ma'am. And there's exactly. so many people out there that take your money and don't do anything. And, and that's what a friend of mine yeah. and I are talking about is so many people will give their entire bank account to Tony Robbins because they trust him. But somebody who's starting out, who is just as good as Tony Robbins, they don't have the notoriety yet that they're really discounting their prices in a way just to get out there. And you don't trust that person. And cause she's telling me like what she's planning on doing. I said, Oh my God, that's like a steal. She's like, I know, right? But, you know, how do you get those people? And she's genuine. I mean, she's genuine just like I'm genuine. But it's it's that you just got to keep pouring that heart out. And and to do what you did with that little boy that you didn't even expect to happen, and it happened. No. What a gift. No, exactly. Well, I'll tell you this for your friend and anybody else. And this is a, a conversation for another time, but don't undervalue yourself because you actually are hurting your client if you do that. When you undervalue yourself, your client gets hurt the most. I mean, you will get hurt because you don't, you know, get what you should get. And if you don't get what you should get, you also won't give what you should give because money's an energy exchange. It's got to be strong on both ends. And those people that don't deliver, I call them charlatan marketers. You know, um, they have great sales and marketing skills. They got zero ethics. Zero yep. Ethics. Yep. I know. Well, we've only got a few minutes left. So, Nikki, um, what, how can people get a hold of you? Well, Nikki Billu is a pretty unique name. So, if you go on any social media platform, just type it in N I C K Y B I L L O U. But if you're in business and what I've said is resonated with you, then jump on my calendar. Let's have a conversation. Um, let's talk about how to take your business from tragic to magic. Let's have you not undervalue yourself anymore. So you don't feel shitty about, you know, giving so much and getting so little in return. And the best way to do that is go to ecircleacademy.com forward slash appointment. That's ecircleacademy.com forward slash appointment. Okay, so what would be one piece of advice that you would offer our audience to help them move into a different direction to achieve their dreams or become a better person? Believe in people. Believe in people. Because when you believe in people, they will believe in you. That is the bottom line. I love that. That is just absolutely wonderful. Because I that's true. That's absolutely true. I know when people believe in me, I believe in them too, and vice versa. Well, Nikki, I want to thank you so much for being on the show. I mean, what what a delight it was, and just so happy to see you shining your light again. And you know, things are moving forward in a very positive direction. And you know, I know the grieving process is a challenge, but you know, your dad lives in your heart. I mean, your dad is you're your dad. That's how I see it. Is that you've turned into your father on and so many levels thank and you. you know he's always with you and he's with you now i can see i'm there with you so thank, thank you so you. much for your time i really do appreciate you coming on thank you for having me on the show it was a real pleasure i enjoyed it you're a great hostess oh thank you so much well i want to thank everyone else for joining the show today and i hope you found some value and if you did please like and subscribe to the show or send the link to your friends and family Um, Nikki gave a lot of really good, valuable information. He's definitely is coming from a heart centered place 
And I just hope that you take the opportunity to reach out to him in the calendar. And I just also want to um, just remind you that I do have a free de-stress meditation on the Kathleen M. Flanagan site for you to download. And also there is uh, discounts by entering Brave TV into Awakening Spirit dot com and grandma's natural remedies dot net and uh that concludes our show for today and i want to thank all of you for joining us and from my heart to yours i hope you have a fabulous week